I came across this uh this topic on Candace Owens' channel. Uh, I wanted to look at it because it sounds insane. An Australian woman slept with 300 people in one year. That's crazy. That's 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 wild. Let's see what Candace has to say about that, and then I'll give my opinion. Three hundred is what a year. Okay. Person that wants to call anybody names. I think calling women names in particular is something that we should not do often. But when I tell you that when I first learned the word slut, okay. I ain't hurt. All right, my bad. My bad. I was, yeah, I'm still 300. It's crazy. Let her be older and be screaming, who's going to love me now on a podcast when she talk about how men are horrible and nobody wants to be with her for a long term. 300 is crazy. Something going on with your soul. I'm not kink shaming, but for you to run through 300 bodies, what, what was missing in your life? You had too much time on your hands. That's like you almost engaged in activities every day. Like, like over th like 300 days. Unless you was doing multiple. Oh, okay. No, man. Let's, let's keep going. That's, I'm not even trying to shame her because we don't kink shame in a fan game. But you don't think you got something going on? 300. 300. Bodies, bro. I don't think a man should have 300 bodies, bro. That's crazy. If a friend of mine told me he had 300 bodies, I would look at him like he was crazy. I would look at him like he was in, like 300, nigga. Like, I know it's supposed to be like a man thing to, to like have a lot of bodies. Oh, I'm so manly. Manly. I got a lot of bodies. That's stupid. Shows no discipline or self control. You're a loser. Um, but. And you tell you tell me you got three hundred bodies. I'm I'm not gonna trust your judgment anymore. And I've had friends that I do believe would have said something like that. Notice that I said had. These are the same friends that will risk it all just to get some box. They were just because. But I had to. I had to. What What do you mean? I abandoned the whole team and had your whole life at risk. I had to. Go and smash. It was it was meritatory. It was offered. I had to go risk everyone's life. <laughs> I'm telling you, those are the same people. Those are the same people that got 300. They got 300 bodies. Tyrone's pookies. They got 300s. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you ain't never seen a happy time on a pookie, I tell you that much. And Chad, sometimes Chad's are the most miserable. 300 bodies, you got too much time on your hands. Nigga, you know how many times I turn down sex? Are you crazy? <laughs> Girls used to look at me like I was bugged out. Now, uh, they probably still do. Um, but, nigga, I, I don't have the time. 300? 300, 300? I just called somebody a slut. Oh, it, it, this is what we were talking about. So this is actually not meant to be derogatory. It is just me trying to accurately explain what we are going to talk about next, which is this Australian woman who says that she has had sex with more than 300 people in one year and found the experience to be, quote unquote, empowering. Disgust. That means, and also, I want to keep pausing, but you didn't even, like, you, none of these people you engaged with you liked enough to make them a long-term not relationship as in boyfriend but you could have just and mind you there's some girls doing that and i i have my own opinions on that to a deeper degree but wouldn't that have been smarter than this right if you had just one person that she was like hey listen i'm not taking you serious you not taking me serious let's have our fun we know what it is that way I now hear how it and then you just I, that's you could have had sex 300 times and not have had to be intimate with 300 different people that is that's crazy that goes beyond the whole phase that you know my bad. 
whole phase that girls be talking about. That's that's beyond. And if you don't know what the whole phase is, it's a period that a lot of women have like, you know, made like a trending term on the internet for when they just out here getting it. And it's supposed to be to to discover themselves and develop and blah, blah, blah. Nigga, that sound crazy. You can get freak nasty with your your uh, loved one or boyfriend at the time and it be consensual and peaceful and less damage in the long run on your psyche, all of this stuff. But but you don't want to do that. That's, that sounds crazy to me. Or even if the guy's not your boyfriend, you just, it's just weird. My bad. I don't mean to go in. That just sounds so ridiculous to me. Even if a man said that, I'm telling I would look at him he's like, my man, you got to reevaluate your life. Every friend I've ever had like that as a man, they lived a miserable life in, in current days or for the last 10 years. I'm telling you, because that, that is a miserable life to have. You got to have an obsession. Thing. Introducing you guys all to someone you didn't need to know. Her name is oh. Annie Knight, but I had to learn about her. So you do too. Take a listen. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, sleep with different people. So in that, mm. let's say it's been like a year since you've really embraced that. How many people would you have slept with in that year? Yeah, give us some numbers. Uh, probably 300. <gasps> <laughs> Jesus In one year Would that be the average Or is it like a big lump sum In one session Oh In a day Five oh. In one day I told ya I am Now nah, I'm coughing. That was the wrong part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, you nasty. You nasty fam, yeah. You know your name, you. <laughs> My bad. All the like long term fans. That knew what button was about to pop up. Nigga, that was funny. Gar Yo, I didn't mean Garfield was not about to come out. I promise you. I was not about to let Garfield out on her. I promise you. That was funny. Oh, man. It was the combination of me holding a cough. <laughs> Pressing the wrong button. Pressing the wrong button. And her being one of the nastiest. See, it's coming out of It's because of the cop. It's because of the cop. Her being one of the nastiest people I've ever heard in my life. She said, Fuck. Who was that Hunter Avalon's wife? Let me see the name. Was that Hunter Avalon's wife? Was that Hunter Avalon's wife? Was that that was his wife on is Hunter Avalon's wife Australian? My bad. All right. So five. Wow. She said this. Was these five? And these are five different individuals. Same day. Was it at the time? Oh, was you throughout the day? Did you not have plans that day? You were just like, I just need. Okay. Why, why are we not just calling that what that is, bro? I'm not trying to kink shame. But that can also be considered an illness, right? Isn't that like a, what's the term for that? When you like addicted to it? I'm telling, I've known people like this and then life is miserable. They want some black snake moan type stuff. And I'm like, oh. I'm just using American words and terms and expressions, English words as they are meant to be mm. used. Yes, Annie Knight has slept with, she reckons, 300 people, men and women, sometimes five people per day, and not to get paid with it because she just finds it to be an empowering situation. So empowering, in fact, that after losing her job, uh, she is now full-time on OnlyFans, mm. and she's so happy because she is earning $1,000 per day. And on top of earning... After losing her job, she's on OnlyFans. Candace, you didn't even have to tell me that. I, if you said yes, I'd have been like, OF. 
OF, right? These are the type of chicks that become, become like adult stars and then get a boyfriend and tell them, I'm tired. I don't want to. Not tonight, man. Work was crazy. Work was crazy, man. I had the seven guy. Like, we just, let's just cuddle. Can't we? Why can't we just cuddle? Get your mind out the gutter. That's not what I don't stars I like. Man, that's what she. <laughs> we should just keep the old effort. Like, no, this it's our art form. It's it's for the money. Okay. No, you you out here getting freak nasty. That's what it is. You just fam. <laughs> Like, I'm not a therapist or like psychiatrist or none of that. That just sound like she need help. It sounds like she need help, bro. Like, excuse me? Did she really just say, yo, fit 300? Yo, I'm sorry, bro. Like, oh, man, we don't kink shame in the, in the fan game. We disgusting shame, though. Like, 300 is wow. Where's your father? Like, where is he? Fam, if I had a daughter and she, I found that she had a 300 year. Bitch, you a Spartan? What is you talk? I don't have a daughter no more. <laughs> I'm done. I didn't raise you to 300. 300. There's a lot of things I'll tolerate as a father and still love you. My brother was asking me a bunch of questions. I'm not going to even repeat them. <laughs> you know, Thanksgiving, he was like, what if you had a son and this happened? I was like, it's going to be tough. But still going to love him. If my son tell me he had a 300 year, my nigga, he's not going to get a high five. He's getting tested <laughs> immediately. right? And then a talking to like, nigga, you're, you're done. You're not, I don't care. Parents just don't understand, and you don't understand. You're, you're retired. Okay, I'm going to make sure. Nigga. You're good. You, you 10 years, nothing, nigga. Nothing. You going on dates, it better be for emotion. Nigga, like, yeah, you're dumb. Nigga, you ain't going to have me at the pearly gates looking at Jesus. Like, I don't know. I, I tried. Lord, like, I, I don't know why you wowed out. 300 is crazy. I, that's what I said. I said that to him down there. Anybody blaming me in heaven? I hear you let your son do the 300. Yo, fam. Three, I told him 300 was crazy. I told him. I don't think you're going to run through 300 without some complications. Pregnancy scares, catching stuff. My bad. I really, yo, when I clicked on this video, I didn't know it was going to lead me down an hour rant of how I just am disturbed by this. I, this is a horror story to me. You know what's a real horror story? Getting with a chick. You take your time with her. You go on dates, wine and diner, right? Y'all talking. Y'all go slow. You might try for some intimacy. She's like, yo, I just want to take my time and get to know you. I want to get take my time and get to know you. You know what I mean? And you know, you like, I respect that traditional old fashioned. So you just continue to date. Y'all go slow, right? Months pass, right? You, you barely get a handhold, maybe even a little peck on a, you know, a little peck, a little peck kiss. And then you find out via podcast, word of mouth, word in the street, one of your friends that smashed that was like, Oh, we all snap. You find out she had a 300 run. And that's only one year. Could you imagine the rest of her life? Especially if she's in her 30s. And then you go and ask her, what? what the, 300? 300? What's all this? First thing you think is, what's all this? <laughs> Slow, be patient, get to know each other bullshit. Oh, it was because I like you. I just, I didn't care about the other guys. So it, I, we could just have sex and I, I didn't even care if they talked to me or call. But with you, I didn't. I didn't want you to leave. And then all she hit you with this, the second one. My past is none of your business. (laughs) (laughs) 
calm and oh, that's a yo fam. Young men, just just be careful out here. Be careful. I'm not telling you to like if a chick doesn't you know mess with you within the first date or a few days or whatever to split, but you should start checking stuff, right? You should just like if that is how she is in general. And this isn't some standard that only you have to uphold or like, cause that, that is just strange. And woman, if that's what y'all doing, do know that that's like a a big hint that you have an uncomfortable relationship with sex. You should, you should probably just show discipline and not engage in activity, but maybe engage with the, whoever is your potential prospect for partners instead. That's, that's probably the best bet, right? I'm telling you, it is going to have problems down the line unless the dude's like kind of submissive, right? And he's just going to like, hey, you don't, don't matter. Okay, right? Those type of men, I'm not shaming. Live your life. Though there's certain predicaments that you wouldn't even be in to where that could arise to be a problem. So it is what it is, right? To men who might even be considered alpha or more dominant, there might be situations the way that might have an effect. Your girl having 300 bodies is 100% going to bite both of y'all in the ass. It's going to happen. 300? <laughs> what did she do to some other country? Guess what? Still got a chance of running into these exes, or not even exes, other like people, people like might be at your job that hooked up with them. They ain't laughing at you. Your boss. <laughs> right? Like friends, family, right? Imagine that. Imagine you take your girl to meet your, your mama and your family and find out your brothers or cousins. That's crazy, bro. Just knowing a friend group, nigga, just knowing a group of your friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pass around Patty? We know pass around Patty. We didn't know you was going to marry her, but we all know pass around. Had it. Nigga, that's crazy. And females, this is a reverse of that, I'm sure. <laughs> of the men that you put in the class of uh, F-boy or something like that to where you're like, oh, yeah, pass a, around Pat. We all know pass around Pat. We call him if he had a good time, but we can't take him seriously. Pat going to be lonely as fuck, but still... I don't think you just let Pat be lonely, nigga. Let Pat be lonely, okay? Nigga, <laughs> just go on your slow if you want to go slow, whenever you're comfortable. But you should probably be having fun with potential partners. If you don't have time for it, then show discipline, bro, if you can. And if you do engage in certain activities, just do it in a responsible way where it's not 300 different people. Men and women, I'm talking to both of y'all, the youth, young men, especially actually, right? Like the red pill community on YouTube, online, just always tell men to go out there and wild out. You should not wild out. If you're going to have fun, cool. Don't wild out, my nigga. Wild out is how you have babies, catch diseases, right? End up in certain predicaments. I'm telling you, it's not the end all be all, bro. You have fun. Just do it responsibly. My bad. I didn't know I was going to rant this much on this topic. This is it's, it's crazy. I'm, I know I'm cooking too. I'm saying some stuff that people don't want to hear, but it's the truth. $31,000 a day for taking her clothes off and doing kinky stuff on the internet. She says there's nothing she won't do. She's into all of it. She wants to experiment with everything. Uh, on top of all that, she's making time to have sex with 300 people in a single year. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What does this tell us about our society? It's unimaginable. That's your end all be all. Think you could trust somebody like that? You think if you wanted these, the past is the past. Someone who made sex that high of a priority to be the end all be all multiple times a day. You moving things out the way to get busy with different individuals. You think you're going to trust them? That's an argument that people don't want to talk about. What if that itch comes back? What if, mm, ah, my partner ain't. Partner's good, but 
they not five different guys in one day good. Or what if she has like a high libido or like a drive and her partner can't compete with what she used to be used to? As I said, talked about this on the whatever podcast when you say hoflation, the hoflationary environment environment that we're living in right now. Everyone talks about inflation. No one talks about hoflation, how difficult it is to find high value women and how women are actually racing to the bottom, right? Because she knew she'd become popular if she talked about the 300 people that she slept with. She's happy to be a hoe. She doesn't, Crazy. she's not upset at all. People call her a whore because she says, this is what makes her happy. This is what makes her fulfilled. And what, what's the problem if that's what makes her happy? Well, she is, I believe, okay. the young age of 26. It's going to be very interesting to see what her life becomes. But as long as she's making $1,000 per day. Excuse me? She 26? Oh my gosh. Shorty had a 300 man run in one year and she's 26. My God. Oh, this. Oh, what in the Lilith? Can you imagine? 300 is one year. Can you imagine? Well, she got her whole life from when she first became active to currently. She's in the thousands, bro. She might be in a thousand. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait into when she hit that wall and she's trying to find love and she like delete her OnlyFans. And she crying on a podcast so much. I don't know why no man takes me seriously. Wow. That's that's crazy. It is what it is, man. And now, why forecast into the future? That's what it's all about. Fast money. The fastest way for women to make money is to take their clothes off, to sell their body. That's exactly what Annie Knight is doing. So congratulations, Annie. You made it in the capacity that you... That's great. Can't front. I'm one bad day away from starting to OF my damn self, nigga. I'm about to take my shirt off. Nigga, what's up? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Yep. Trying not to cough as well as not to be too loud. Imagine that. I swear, man. One bad broke day away. That old web about to come, bro. I'm going to have feet pics on it. No, I'm not, man. That sounds so crazy. I can't picture myself doing that, right? If I ever started one of those, it would just be a joke. Or I, I hit the... That I'm point. sick of worrying about the government. I can't eat. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. See, look. Look, I didn't even know y'all said that in the chat. You should do only toes. Y'all nasty. But you know what? We don't kink shame in the fan gang. But I think that if I put my feet on the internet, y'all gonna judge me. Y'all gonna judge me if I my feet are not. Listen, I got feet like a construction worker. I got feet like like I was a ballerina. All right, I got feet like I was a a Thailand kickboxer that was out there with Tong Po kicking concrete and trees my whole life. I got Shaka Zulu feet. All right. I could step on a hot coal and it won't be hot no more. All right. I could walk across hot coal and be chilling, eating a bowl of cereal and just stand there and look at you like, what's up? Oh, I'm on hot coal. All right. I should keep walking. I could <laughs> snatch fish going upstream with my bare claws, nigga. My feet, nigga. <laughs> I got man feet for real. All right. I got, I got hobbit feet. My feet look like hobbit feet. You ever seen Lord of the Rings? I have every time I look at my feet. 
nigga. I got feet like my nigga Caesar from playing. <laughs> Why am I roasting myself right now? I don't know. I guess anyone can get it on my live streams, right? I better tune in. I'm roasting people, even myself. Uh, but no, I'm not going to do no uh, OF. <laughs> That'd be crazy, right? But I do have a Patreon. Sign up for that. Man. Sign up for my Patreon. I'm not on my Roma army and doing explicit pictures on there yet. Niggas is broke. Listen, my shirt might come off, maybe. I might do a calendar. Once a year. No feet pics, though. No feet pics. My, sh my shirt might fly off. Especially after I lost all this damn weight. That is crazy. I'm waiting for a chance to show off these muscles. Nigga, what you talking about? You think I'm doing a thousand push-ups for no? No, I ain't do a thousand. I do only like a hundred like a day right now and I'm trying to get up to like 500 again like I used to it's probably why I'd be so sore anyway I digress how did I get into you know him on my workout regimen we you wanted to make it the momentary Mid capacity uh, where you consider throwing away the rest of your life for a hey, little attention that's what I think makes my reactions better than other reactors or whatever the fact that I give you all of me chin today alright if you like this video you are that was dope. That was a dope video from Candace, but damn, 300 is. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section in the live chat. Would you mess with somebody that had 300 bodies? Would you date them? Would you take them seriously? Right? Would that be a deal breaker for you, men and women? Would that be a deal breaker? I would, I would love to know. Uh, for me, 300 bodies is a deal breaker. Especially if you weren't honest about it. Right, you know what I mean? I can't mess with three three hundred. I can't mess with three hundred. That's crazy. That's that's insane. Three hundred. I can't mess with that. Right, and I ain't even gonna judge you. Right, I ain't like I'm gonna treat you differently or whatever. Right, if we were having fun, I wouldn't care. You know what I mean? How many bodies you have? But like, on some take you seriously, like in a relationship, yeah, I can't take you seriously. Three hundred. Nah, nah, that's crazy, right? Nah, that's crazy. I do think that knowing a little bit about your partner's background and past experiences is a good way to know the possibilities of what you might have to deal with, as well as you getting a good idea of what was going down if you're going to be in a relationship with them. You know what I mean, I'm not saying judge them because people do change. Right. Um, especially it depends on how they handle you telling you. Right. They say, yo, listen, at one point in my life, I was wow. I'm not like that no more. I've done a lot of work on myself. Right. I was dealing with some insecurity, blah, 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 blah. Then, yeah, I think you could work with that if it's not a crazy number. Right. I don't even think you got to ask the number necessarily at first. Right. Um, no, yeah, you should get the number. You should, I think that's like the, the bare minimum. The details of individual experiences, that's different. If it's like a sensual conversation where you're just like, hey, what's the craziest thing you've done? Or stuff like that, and they're comfortable, that's fine. I don't think you should be going too crazy. Right, like don't go too hard. Right? It should all be playful, and it should be just getting to know each other, and vice versa. If the person has questions for you, the same thing, right? Um, but I do think a straight up, if you was the only ask one or two questions, the number is probably the, the main one. Just to get an idea. But 300 is ridiculous. The hell was you doing with your life? You got too much time on your hands for 300 for one year? Whoa. Whoa. That's a, that's an issue in my eyes, but whatever. Oh, King Shane, tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button. All that good stuff, man.